In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Wi-Fi not showing in Windows 11 setting or Windows 11 taskbar. So if you have the missing Wi-Fi icon problem, then apply the solution that I will be sharing in this video. So basically what happened that whenever uh, you click on the very right hand corner, uh, you don't see the Wi-Fi option here to connect it. And even if you go to your settings, you don't see this Wi-Fi option over here as well. So I will be sharing the best and the effective solution that you will have to apply. And by the end of this video, I'm very sure that your problem will be fixed. Now, before proceeding, it's recommended that find out that there is no problem with your hardware that is Wi-Fi adapter. So for that, right click on the Windows icon, then click on run. In the run box, you have to type ping space 127.1.1.1 space minus T. Then you need to click on OK a black window will be coming up now here if you are getting the reply from this particular ip address then it means that you are good to go there is no problem with the wi-fi hardware but if you don't get the reply so there can be a problem with a wi-fi adapter and in that case you will probably have to visit the local technician but if you are getting the reply then follow my next step now if you're using any kind of laptop or even any kind of PC that contains the Wi-Fi key on it. Many laptop, even many PC keyboard, they contain a Wi-Fi key and accidentally sometime it get pressed and the Wi-Fi get disabled. So you just need to check that Wi-Fi key and make sure that it's turned on. So you can try clicking on it, tapping on it and see that if that make any difference. Similarly, if you have the airplane mode option, then make sure that it's been turned off and it's not turned on. And when it's been turned off, then try to turn it on and again turn it off. All right, so once you are done with all these settings and still if you have the problem, then next you have to click on your Windows search, type troubleshoot, click troubleshoot settings. Now here you have to go with other troubleshooters. Then scroll down a bit and you will find a network adapter. Click on run and now this will start detecting the problem and then it asks you the connection that what kind of adapter you are having the problem with. So I will click on Wi-Fi then click on next and now it will start detecting the problem and even it will try to resolve it. So probably you may get some kind of recommendation and even some kind of note that the problem has been fixed. And if not, then at least you will be getting some kind of recommendation. So kindly wait until this troubleshooting has been completed now in my case it's been done and it says investigate router so there seems to be no problem with my computer and says to restart my router so i will close it for as of now and now from the left hand menu option click on network and internet then scroll down a bit you will find advanced network setting click on it then click more network adapter options now here you will see all kind of your network adapters like LAN, Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi. Here just make sure the Wi-Fi adapter has not been turned off or not been disabled. And if it's been disabled, it will look like this. All right. So if it's been disabled, just make a right click on it and choose enable. And even if it's been enabled, then also you have to right click and disable it. Then again, make a right click and enable it. Now you can close it and next you need to make a right click on the windows icon then click device manager from the list of suggestions. Device manager will be up. Now here you have to look for the network adapter double click on it. And then you will find your Intel Wi-Fi or the Realtek Wi-Fi adapter over here. Once you get it make a right click on it. Choose update driver. Click search automatically for drivers. And if the updates are available, it will automatically update it. But if not, then you will get this kind of message. So next you can close it. Now you have to make a right click on it. Then choose uninstall device. Again, click on uninstall and your Wi-Fi adapter will be uninstalled. After that, just restart your computer and this Wi-Fi adapter will be automatically reinstalled. So you can try this method as well. And in case nothing works for you, then you have to click on your Windows search, type GP edit, click edit group policy. The group policy editor will be up. Now, if you get any error message while opening group policy, then I have created a video on that. 
you can check that video to how to enable that option so once you come to group policy you have to click on user configuration then administrative templates then on start menu and taskbar then on the right hand side you will find an option remove the networking icon here it is select this option double click on it a new box will be up now here you have to choose disabled then click apply then click on ok now make a right click on the windows icon then click on task manager from the top menu option click on file then click on run new task now here you have to type explorer.exe check this option of create this task with the administrative privileges and then you have to click on ok so this will basically uh, refresh your screen and after that you can check back again if the problem get fixed now after applying all this solution still if you have the problem the next you have only two solutions either you go and restore your computer to the earlier date when the computer was working fine or probably there is some problem with your local account then you can go ahead and create a new local account so in order to restore your computer you have to click on your windows search type rstrui.exe hit the enter key and then here it says recommended store so it will show you the date and time so if you feel that on that particular date the computer was working fine the wi-fi was working then you can choose that date or else you can click on choose a different restore point click next and then from here choose the date where you feel the computer was working fine then you have to click on next and just follow the steps to restore the computer to the previous state alternatively you can also try creating a new local account for that i have already created a video you can check that out that how to create a new local account so hopefully this complete list of solution will surely help you to fix wi-fi icon not showing in windows 11 settings or taskbar and if you found this video helpful do not forget to like and subscribe for any question let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye